Oh, Josefina, you're up. Yeah, I cannot wait to start seventh grade. It's gonna be so cool. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it, honey. But I'm not gonna like it. I'm gonna love it. Seventh grade's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Speaking of seventh grade, where's your sister? You mean my cousin? Yeah, your cousin. You know what I mean. I don't know, she's getting ready. She's going through pre-middle school stress syndrome. You know, I might... I better go up and talk with her. Don't bother, Mom. She's a wreck. How come she's so scared? Well, honey... She's your cousin. And she, not only is she starting middle school, she's starting middle school with a whole bunch of new kids. I want you to look out for her. I will, Mom. Thank you. Now I'm going to go see what your cousin's up to. <sighs> Morning. Hi, honey. How are you feeling? Well, besides the fact that I barely slept a wink, I'm stressed out and I feel like I'm going to throw up, nothing. What's worrying so much about middle school, starting with new kids? What is that? Plus is the fact, what if I can't get my locker open? They don't have lockers in this middle school. They don't? Well, they do, but it's not the kind that we usually see on TV. Besides, we're going to be in the same special ed class, and it's going to be an all-girl class, so you don't have much to worry about. Special ed sure is weird around here. I'm just nervous. What if the other kids don't like me? Hey, they'll like you. Yeah, you're right. If they like you, they definitely like me. Hey! All right, that's enough, girls. Now eat your breakfast. You're going to miss the bus if you don't hurry up. Okay. No, 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 no. It's Hi, Josefina. Over here. Come on, Maria. It's going to be okay. Hey, Isabel. Hey. I love your new outfit, Josephine. Oh, thanks. Maria, come on. Oh, Maria's your cousin, right? Yeah, I want you to be nice to her. We'll be nice to her as long as she's not a tall dweeb. I'm serious, Isabel. Okay, okay. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling great. Just great. Is that your cousin? Yeah, this is Maria. Hey. Hey, Maria. <laughs> wow, look at all these kids. I know all of them from last year in the sixth grade. Yo, I don't know them. Relax. It's going to be okay. You'll be fine. <sighs> Good morning, class. My name is Miss Sledder, and I will be your teacher. Oh, I see we have a lot of new faces here, so, yeah, that's because you weren't our teacher last year. Anybody new in this district? Yes, why don't you stand up and introduce yourself? Um, my name's Maria Sanchez, I'm Josefina's cousin. And I moved here over the summer to live with Josefina because... What, are your parents in jail? No, they're not. Don't say that. Jeez, don't have a freak attack. All right, that's enough. What did happen to your parents? They died in a car accident, so my aunt, Melissa... My Aunt Melissa took custody of me. Oh, we're sorry. Thanks. Can I sit down? I don't talk about this anymore. Sure, go ahead. You guys better be nice to her. We will. I'd be devastated if, all pa if my parents died. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, now that you guys all know each other, let me get to know you. 
Now you guys are a little nervous about starting middle school, but this will be just like elementary school, at least when you're in this class, it will be. Yay. I give homework every night except on Fridays. Fridays you can enjoy the weekend. Alright, no weekend homework. Um, tonight, I know it's the first day of school, but tonight you're going to have homework. But it's something very easy. You just have to write a paragraph that tells me a little bit about you. Just one paragraph. I think you guys can handle that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go over, let's go over the class rules. Lunch! So, what do you think of our class so far? I like it. Is your cousin going to be sitting with us? Be nice, Isabel. I'm sorry, but your cousin's a dweeb. Don't say that. Just got to get to know her. Yeah, but she didn't smile once. She's been through a lot. Give her a break. Hey. Hey, Maria. Come sit down. So, um, so your parents died over the summer, huh? Yeah, it's been really hard. Yeah, poor you. Well, I'm sorry, but didn't you say earlier that you kind of knew how I felt? Yeah, but all you're doing is doom and gloom. No, I'm not. I barely said anything. What about when you were introducing yourself? You're like, uh -huh, I don't want to talk about it. Isabel, stop it. No. She wants people to feel sorry for her. That's not true, and you know it. Well, I don't know you. Exactly, you don't know me. Why would you think I want to be doom and gloom? Because you didn't smile once. Look, I'm just going to do a lot. Oh, poor you. Josefina, aren't you going to say anything? Why don't you go and uh, go cry to the guidance counselor? What's wrong with going to the guidance counselor? Nothing. Unless you're somebody who wants attention. What are you talking about? You didn't have to mention your parents dying. What, what was I supposed to say? Supposed to act happy. You just want attention. You want people to feel sorry for you. That's not true. It isn't. Josefina. Aren't you going to say anything? Well, you do seem kind of doom and gloom. Forget it. I'll go sit somewhere else. Why? You want another shoulder to cry on? Isabel, what are you doing? Why did she talk to her that way? Because she, she all she does is doom and gloom. All the time. And it's really annoying. Isabel, you shouldn't have said that. Hey, I guess the truth hurts. I thought we were friends. We are friends. If I wasn't your friend, you wouldn't be worth getting mad at. You gotta be nice to my cousin. Why should I? All she wants is attention. You better talk to her and tell her to stop doing doom and gloom. Fine, I will. Good. Go away, Josemina. I said get out of here. No, I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. You let your friend be mean to me. Look, I'm sorry I didn't defend you very well. But I did stick up for you when you left. Isabel's really not that bad. She just... Like she judged people a lot. Yeah, I know. I've been through so much, and you know it. I know, but do you think you're the only person who's been through stuff? I miss your parents, too. Yeah, but at least you have your own parents. I don't have them anymore. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know... I talked to Isabel, and I stood up for you. It was nice of you to do it, but it doesn't make anything better. I just miss my parents so bad. I miss them too. Just because I have my own parents 
doesn't mean I don't miss your parents as much as you miss them. I've known them even even before you were born. Well, only three months apart, exactly. Three months can make a big difference. I'm sorry, okay? I, I know I messed up. I just hope you can find your heart to forgive me. I don't know. But I appreciate it. Ring, ring. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. It's my room. Ring, ring. Hello? Isabel, why are you calling? Really? Okay. I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. Who was it? It was Isabel. She called to apologize to me. Well, good. We wiped the slate clean and start over tomorrow. Yeah, I guess. Are you still mad at me? Not as mad as before. Thanks. I'm really sorry that I didn't stick up for you. It's fine. I guess tomorrow will be better. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I'm going to start my homework. Okay.